Really? Oh, Maybe. really? Look, you're getting aggressive with me again. You, you, you never listen to me. I do. You are. You are. I'm a, Catholic, a good Catholic boy. Hi, guys, and welcome back to At Home with James and Ola. Remember, if you like it, like and subscribe. And we love to read your comments. So any comments on what we're talking about today, um, let us know. And again, welcome back, Sophie. Hi, how are you? Hi. How are you? I'm good, yeah. thank you. Good. How has your week been? It's been stressful. Stressful. Ella, I've been being that well. Yeah. Um, Tell so us what's the update. Um, she keeps getting blimmin' ear infections. So the last two nights, she's been waking up screaming. With, um, and for someone that has suffered with ear infections their whole life. Um, and apparently it is hereditary, so it's probably my fault that she suffers with ear infections. We don't want to necessarily at the moment stick her on another course of antibiotics. I mean, this year alone she's been on God knows how many courses of antibiotics. Not again. You've really been through it, haven't you, with her this year? Yeah. Um, so they, they have mentioned the possibility that she has got glue ear um, and she might need to have these grommets put in. Oh, honestly, I've been through this. My daughter had grommets and it was actually, her hearing was only about 50%. Do in... you think that's what you've got? Oh. Oi! <laughs> you never seem to listen to anything I say. Maybe you need, oh, <laughs> maybe, really? maybe you need really? grommets as well. What? Look, you're getting aggressive with me again. You, you never listen to me. I don't know. My me. mind's called selective hearing. Yeah, you never listen to me. On the naughty step, James Jordan. <laughs> honestly. <laughs> So anyway, on, on the way, we, I took Ella to nursery this morning. It was quite a funny story, actually. I was taking her to nursery and she said, Daddy, how old are you? Because she knows my birthday is coming up. Uh, she said, how old are you going to be? And I said, oh, I'm, Daddy's going to be 46. I still hate to say it. So old now. Uh, Daddy's going to be 46. So how old are you now? Well, I'm 45 now. Oh, how old's mummy? And I said, well, she's 41. No, she's not. She's 25. And I went... Well, no, she's not. She's she's 41. And she's getting really angry with me. She's, no, Daddy, she's 25. I said, Ella, Daddy's not going to lie to you. Your Mummy is 41. No, she obviously just thinks that Mummy looks 25, right? No, definitely not. No, but I'm going to tell you the whole story. So, yeah, I have been telling Ella she's tw I'm 25 because one time we went to the shops it was obviously someone's birthday I was picking candles and then she was going mummy mummy you are 41 and I went and I laughed quiet quiet everyone was laughing in the shop because she was literally going mummy yeah but you are you are 41 <laughs> mummy Ella keep it quiet no mummy's 25 and that's where it started I've been telling her I'm 25 you must have been telling her every so day so just yeah. recently she has been asking about my age quite often I don't know why and I was going mummy's 25 but she she was very excited about going in today because she had her um Easter, Easter bonnet. bonnet oh did she oh. what did it what did it look like Oh, very pretty. Mummy obviously did the job. Show the one from last year that, that Daddy was, did. And I have to say... That was Daddy's last that was, year's That was my right? last year's one. And can I just say, Mummy did help with that. There was There's few ideas of Mummy's here as well. Where? Yeah. Which ones? Well, the eggs at the top and then the straws. <laughs> that that was my idea. Your one that you did with Ella is much better. I hold okay. my hand up. Who's going to put it on now to model it? Oh, it's beautiful. There's no way oh, that would fit on my head. So, what are your Easter plans? Are you doing anything this weekend? We rung my family um, <laughs> because we wanted, we want Ella to realise that things like that, like Christmas and Easter, it's about family. Um, was going to invite them round and my mum and her partner um, and they're all going away. <laughs> they dumped us. So, my sister's going to come over on Sunday and we, I'm going to do nice Easter meal. Yes. So I'm going to be brushing up on my Polish over Easter. No. What's the chocolate egg situation in your house? Mm. See, I'm not really fan of the chocolate egg situation because I've got to say there's so much chocolate going around. Like, literally, this one's going to get Ella chocolate and this one's going to get Ella chocolate. And it gets out of hand, you know. There's so much chocolate. And... I don't know, trying to be, you know, good and healthy. Yeah, but 
They it's are hard. kids. They're still kids. Yes. You can't deprive them of things like that because what happens is I know a couple of children yeah. when I was young that their parents were absolutely, no, you cannot have chocolate. It's terrible for you, blah, 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 blah. When they got older and they could make decisions for themselves, they started gorging on chocolate. But and I am not like worried that. about Ella. Right. Because she will have a certain amount of chocolate and she doesn't want any more. I'm worried about you. Because all <laughs> the chocolate eggs will be in our cupboards. That's true. And who's going to eat them all? <laughs> I can't help myself. I can't I'm, help you myself. Know, I know. You know You're right. Know. You're right, Ola. You are right. right. Did you hear that? Say no, I'm right. You believe that? I'm right. You are right. I am right. I don't have any willpower when it comes to chocolate. sweets <laughs> and chocolate. And if I know it's, I'm actually surprised that she's still got those Marks and Spencers. Um, what are they? The piggies. The piggies. Because you don't really don't like them. No, I you? do like do them, like but them? I know that she probably knows exactly how many there are. So I'm yeah. too scared to take them. Yeah, I'm, I don't take them either. But Easter for me is not a great time of the year because she gets so much chocolate. There's no way she eat it all because she's actually not a greedy kid. She's no, not. No, she's she, not. When she has enough, she has enough. Yeah. So I just, I'll just eat it until I go. Oh my god, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> That's yeah. I love chocolate. If chocolate do. wasn't unhealthy and and bad for you and calorific, I'd eat it. Yes. All day long, wouldn't you? Yeah. I would. Yes. I've got that sort of conversation quite often with Ella. She goes, Mummy, what's healthy? Is broccoli healthy? Is chicken healthy? Is this healthy? And and then she goes, Is chocolate healthy? Um, no, Ella, but it makes you happy, I always say. <laughs> <laughs> so are you not really much of a chocoholic then, Ola? Me? Yeah. I am. I do like a bit of chocolate, but I can have a piece and I'm happy. Like I can have a piece. And sometimes I do like something after my dinner, but I literally can have a piece and I'm happy. Oh, I have such a sweet tooth, don't I? James got such a, but he's got more of sweet tooth as well with like the sweets, you know, like the long strawberry Like if you go to the cinema, you know, you get the you strawberry know the late with the white bit inside. Oh my See, God. See, he loves all that. I'm not that keen it's on pure that. pure sugar. I prefer chocolate. Like literally pure sugar. Pure sugar. Isn't it? Is it? Pure sugar. Yeah. So, so you would eat a whole Easter egg then, Ola? Oh no, no, not not in one. No. Not in one. <laughs> I literally sniff it up like that. <laughs> so, what about the the story of Easter? Does um does Ella know about that? Yeah, I don't think she knows exactly what Easter is. To be honest with you, um, especially I think in England we're all talking about the Easter bunnies and just you know the whole. Bunny, chocolate, chocolate and... and stuff. But I think the more older she gets, she will understand. I mean, on Saturdays, it's like our Polish tradition to uh, go to church and um, christen Easter eggs. So we color our eggs and put it in the little lovely basket. Oh, I'll show you. Because oh, majority of like this. I've never heard of this. Lovely Easter basket. Oh. And we put like a meat in there and bread and uh, salt and um and easter eggs so then and they get blessed though we, right? they get blessed they get like sort of christened breath blessed uh, so we take that on saturday to church and then what we do on sunday um um uh, morning is we cut the eggs and then we take a piece of each egg and say you know wishes and everything so it's a nice thing for kids to do but that's very much polish tradition christian Polish tradition, Catholic. But, but most people in Poland are Catholic, aren't they? Would you say? Yeah, there's there's still other religions she's Poland, yeah. but I think most people are Catholic and that's what we do. That's what we always did. I always went to church with my little basket, even when I was really little and apparently I was swinging the basket around and chucking all the eggs everywhere, my mum said. So yeah, it's quite a nice thing to do for the children. And then we sort of, um, yeah. Yeah, show it out. And I'm Catholic as well. You are. You are. I'm Catholic, a good Catholic boy. But people that's what my probably, dad thought. when people look at me, I think that that's what they think, though, isn't it? <laughs> Generally, when people look at me, they think James Jordan, good Catholic boy. Well, I wish you guys a really happy Easter. Thank Enjoy you. You time. too. And happy Thank Easter you. to everyone else happy out there. Happy Easter. Like happy and subscribe. Morning. Please leave comments. Let us know, especially about the chocolate. Huh?
How much chocolate yeah. should we be giving our children? What do you think or is the right husband. amount for your husband? <laughs> yeah.